somebody's got to hear uh, the clink of a jail cell. They're going to have to hear that so that others can learn from this mistake. That's 15th Circuit Solicitor Jimmy Richardson. He said that back in May about Trenton Alexander Brown, the Louisiana teen who falsely claimed that there were bombs at Carolina Forest High School. Well, he received probation for that conviction this week. And ABC 15 Simon Williams is working for you, asking the solicitor if he's satisfied with that sentence. The last time we spoke with 15th Circuit Solicitor Jimmy Richardson, he said 19-year-old Trenton Alexander Brown's case would be used as an example that threats made against schools are a serious offense. This week, Brown pleaded guilty to making a bomb threat first offense. He was sentenced to 18 months of probation under the Youthful Offender Act. From then until now, what happened on your perspective, from your point of view? What happened is um, the police did an excellent job they did a lot of research. They chased uh, this person down. We went through extradition. Uh, the defendant pulled 94 days in jail. I promised everybody he was going to serve a significant amount of time in jail. Brown was convicted of falsely claiming there were bombs at Carolina Forest High School on April 24th. It led to an evacuation of the school and parents dropping everything to drive there and wait outside for updates. Do you feel like he understands the seriousness now after from what you've seen in court? I'll bet you my next paycheck that you won't see another bomb threat out of this young man. Brown used a VPN to try and hide his location and the FBI and Baton Rouge Police Department tracked the call and arrested him on April 30th. The first day, two days or three days, is really the worst in jail. When you hear that magnetic clink and you know, I can't leave today, and where my friends are going to be out at a football game next week, I'm not. Are you satisfied with the sentencing? Yeah, I'm, I'm satisfied with it. I think, uh, you know, we, uh, at the worst, we could take him out and stone him. Uh, but for a person that um, has no record, um, 90 days is, uh, is, a, is a lot of time. Still, Richardson says he's sure there will be others trying to do what Brown did. And that's fine, too, because the jail prison's got plenty of spots for him. So his message remains, learn from this example. This guy had some very sophisticated equipment. Um, he had routers and ways to hide his tracks in the computer world, and we went through those tracks and found him seven or eight states over. School starts Monday. Um, I can promise you, just like with this defendant, if you do this, you are going to go to jail for a good long time, or I'm gonna get held in contempt. I mean, I'm going to be raising sand for you to stay in jail time, whether you've got a record or not. In Horry County, I'm Simon Williams reporting. Brown has been ordered to have no contact with Horry County schools moving forward, and his supervision has been transferred to Louisiana.